My name is Dr. Reza Mubarak. I grew up in the Dallas area. I went to J.J. Pierce High School. Following that, I went to Baylor University, graduated with honors, and went to medical school at uh, Barry University School of Podiatric Medicine. Following that, I completed a residence, surgical residency in Central Alabama, in Montgomery, Alabama. Following my residency, I moved back home and uh, joined a practice, and since 2009, I started my own practice in the Plano and Louisville and now Irving. The name of my practice is Southwest Foot and Ankle Center, as well as our wound care center that we have a conjunction with the DFW Wound Care Center. I became a doctor because my parents just instilled it in me. That's all I knew was when I was a little kid. And uh, when I went to undergrad, I took pre-med and I studied all the medical requirements to get into medical school. And I wanted to obviously help people. I wanted to do the right thing. And um, I wanted something that was rewarding, which uh, you know, it's nothing more rewarding than coming home and helping people. I chose podiatry mainly because of sports medicine. I love sports, I play sports, I coach sports, I coach my son's wrestling team, a lot of sports injuries, a lot of football injuries, I played intramural college sports, I wrestled all throughout high school, and uh, a little bit into weightlifting and bodybuilding, so there are a lot of injuries with foot and ankle in the younger athletes and they heal a lot faster, so it's actually fun to treat a lot of the young athletes in uh, their injuries and especially coming to a physician that played sports aggressively and um, you know was part of that and can relate to them is important. With foot and ankle I treat every procedure that you can think of everything from osseous which is bone to soft tissue and tendons. I, I do a lot of limb salvage which is wound care diabetic uh, amputation prevention that is the big, big gamut of my practice and um, I do a lot of nerve decompression the triple nerve decompressors. Not that many physicians and surgeons train in this procedure, uh, and I've been doing it for about eight years now. Very successful procedure. We just go in there, very minimal incision, uh, fast, fast recovery, and uh, the patient have about an 80, 85 percent success rate with that. What am I passionate about? Sport-wise, wrestling for sure, uh, and bodybuilding. I love it. It's a good stress reliever. I don't drink. I don't smoke. That's my stress reliever. So I go in there and I teach my son. He's actually, uh, you know, very high-ranked wrestler uh, in the state and country. Another passion of mine is traveling. I love to travel. I love to travel with my uh, family, show them around, and um, spend time with them. After a day's beaten at work, you want to come home and relax. You go to medical school, you do your residency, and you get all this training to come out and be a, become a physician slash surgeon. Board certification is the most important entity for uh, verification and um, saying that, showing that, you know what, I, I did these procedures, I am very knowledgeable in this. And some hospitals and surgery centers you, uh, you, and insurances, you can't get on if you're not board certified. And it's like a rite of passage. And uh, yes, you work your tail off to get there, so why not get board certified? It is very difficult to get board certified. Um, not everyone passes the exams, but uh, it shows that, you know what, I went through all this training and all, the, and all these um, things and studies, get board certified. I think standards are very important. When a patient comes to you, where there's just even the foot and ankle, they're still putting, not quote unquote, their lives in you, but I mean, they're putting their trust in you. At the end of the day, if you're gonna uh, entertain that, hey, you need surgery, then they're gonna trust in you that, hey, I'm gonna be under anesthesia. This guy is, or this lady is gonna be performing a procedure and it's actually gonna make an incision on me. And you have to understand there's a lot of uh, structures to go to do a procedure, like nerves, vascular. So you gotta know your anatomy. You gotta know your stuff before you cut on a patient. And they're putting their trust in you. And whether it's a bunion, a mole, or a fracture, I don't care what it is, they wanna come back to you. And if you know, you, you don't meet those standards, then, you know, the patient is not going to have that trust and confidence. And uh, it's very, very important. So I treat every patient in my office. I know patients have heard this. I literally treat them like they're my parents. I think to be part of the top 10 MD uh, category is, would probably be a prestigious uh, compliment because I was approached by them to come in and uh, be a part of it and to, have, to be in a category with only 10 of the top uh, physicians in your field is actually not only just rewarding, but actually just kind of prestigious. And it's like, you know, I'm like, wow. You know, I mean, everyone can go get a who's who plaque, 
Everyone can buy that, okay? But there's, there's so many in our fields, there's probably over 100 physicians in our field. And for only 10 of us to be known as the top 10 because of board certification or all the other uh, categories that you have pertained and um, persona and the uh, courteous treatment that you give the patients, I think it's very important.